So between the rain, I can't wash my car, and between the garage being a disaster, I can't pull the car in and start on the suspension. So the movers come tomorrow. I have nothing done. Ugh. I guess while I wait for the rain to stop, I'll deal with um, this disaster because I need garage space to do lots of things this week. Okay, we're gonna lay down for just, just a brief second. Okay, the rain's done, but now, I was blinding me. The rain's done, but now it's really, really hot outside. The garage is still a mess. I have a lot of laundry to do, things to pack. There's no power in any outlet in my room, which is a little frustrating. The internet's not working right now as well, so I can't finish uploading the video from European Experience. <laughs> it's gonna be a long week. <laughs> nope, pull together. Let's get this, or make it happen, let's go. We can do one final walk around around Miley until everything comes off. It's so weird to see this car stock height, all the stock parts back on it. And it's a good thing the Zauber's going off today because this Zauber over here is a little bit flat. I just tried to fill it up and I don't think it took any air. So, we may have a hole somewhere, but if they're coming off today, we'll do that later on. Please go up. Okay, false alarm. We're all set. First things first. Goodbye, Mr. Rear Lip. You've been a champ. I beat you to pieces, but you did all right. Look at this thing. Thanks to all the terrible roads in Savannah, I hit this lip in the ground so many times. And yes, I know I'm bagged, but there's still some dips and curves that are deeper than you think, and then this is the result of that. But she didn't crack or break anymore, so. We call it a win. Now we can lift her up, pull the wheels off, pull the side skirts off, and after that we'll do the suspension. I'm not gonna lie, this is actually like, it's kind of sad, like, Miley as we know it is about to go back to like, monster truck height, no nice parts on her. Kind of sad. So we'll come back, but still kind of sad. Car's up, both front wheels are off, hood's open, Larry's also here. Um, so that's what we're gonna do, get these struts off in the front, drop those down and out, really easy to do. I'm gonna tuck the management, like the wires, just back up in the engine bay and out of the way. I'm not pulling the management out of the car, just, what are you doing? <laughs> just the bags will come out and suck it in. That way once we're in Germany, I'll put the bags in and it's reconnect the line and it's that simple to do. And then we'll unscrew the sides of the side skirts, get those off as well. While Larry takes off the front suspension, I'm gonna try and clean up these ones just a little bit. I'm so sorry, your lip. Sorry. <laughs> well, I was saying, I'm gonna try and clean up these ones just a little bit, make them a little bit nicer. Just a like pass inspection. We're gonna set this way over here. You stay there. Ooh. Ah, look at that. If you like coats and black paint, you're looking brand new. I don't know how thoroughly they inspect the cars, but that versus that, oh, that's a lot better, a lot newer, so. Hopefully we can make it through. So, uh, what, what you got here, Christian? Oh, these? Oh, these are, yeah, they look really good, right? Oh, yeah, no, yeah, no, no these, these are, are brand right. new from Volkswagen. Just pick them up. Wow. First of the box. Yeah, I know. They look really good, right? Shoot. They're probably past inspection, you would say. Absolutely. Doing, right? Okay, that's, Absolutely. that's what I want to make sure. Yeah, oh, okay. totally. Yeah, new bolt for sure. This side was starting to strip out a little bit. Well, not really, but like a little bit rounded out. Thankfully, there's two sides of these, so <laughs> might have been screwed. Oh, there she is. <laughs> No, no more bags. Be so sad. Going static? <laughs> Never. <laughs> Only because the Germans are making me. Actually, I don't actually have to do this because you can run air struts in Germany, but I don't want some sort of dumb thing to happen and have my car air out on one side and I don't know what to do and my car's getting dragged around. You know, something stupid. So, to eliminate all this like random factors, stock suspension, there's no issues, no one touch my paddles. We should be good to go. Both front bags are now out. Now these stock can go back in and we can go to super monster truck height. Need some rally driving <laughs> after this, I don't know. Okay, so probably one of the most nerve wracking things and might have been one of the dumbest things we've ever done, but the stock suspension, I realized we don't have a spring compressor and it's 9.04 on a Sunday, which means nobody's open at this time. So I don't want to wait. We made it happen. We got the first one off. I'm going to show you this little jank setup we made. You got it in slow motion? Let me see, hold on. Larry fell in in slow motion. It's, it's gonna happen. 
wasn't that bad. Now, I'm not recommending any of you do what we just did. I'm just telling you it worked out for us so far. So for everyone that's like screaming at your screen right now, I apologize. We definitely just messed that up. I wasn't sure after I was, I didn't remember why I had to come off. And it's been so long since I've touched stock suspension. Um, but what we just took off was not supposed to come off. Nope. So, yeah. Well, anyways, that was supposed to stay on there. That and that is like the bottom top piece. And then the bumper um, or, a different, or a different one goes on top of that. And then your top cap goes on top of all that. So, we just did a whole lot of stuff for literally no reason. No, no reason. No reason at all. Nothing. <sighs> We're going to have some tacos and we'll, go, we'll fix this in a second. But... We messed up. Not afraid to admit it, but man, it's been so long to touch it. Man, I'm. I, uh, Stock is ah, stupid. Get out of here. Yeah. stupid. All right, so I'm gonna make a judgment call and say, passenger side first. Passenger side yeah, first. Buddy. Yeah, because right. this one over here is, you know, not all messed up. We didn't touch it yet, so this one first, <laughs> and then we'll figure out. I, I don't want to talk about that side. We'll do this side first. Okay, no progress any further. Well, this side is actually. In, but the problem is the stock nuts for the top of the struts are different from the factory ones to the airlift ones. So I have the airlift ones, but I don't have ones that fit the factory ones, so I can't actually bolt this to hold it there. So that's just kind of in there. We still can't quite get this spring to compress enough to get the top hat back on because no spring compressor and this whole weight of the car thing. It's hard to get the center shock to line up, so there's that. We might pause in the front and just go to the back for now. I let the jack completely out and the car is still like 80 feet off the ground, so I check for jack stands, but they're out. The jack's all the way. Yep, that's out. And nope, the car's just, oh my, all of the gap. These tires aren't staying, but I need them for now. I said to put stock wheels and tires back on. But for now, the front's, I guess, on the ground. There's no top portion of this because I don't have the right nut for that yet and that one's still not done properly because yeah a lot of things there so the front's I guess mildly done it's on the ground and the car will roll and stuff so we're gonna start on the back I guess all right side skirts are off rear struts are in they put the wheels back on wife's here hi wife love you and she brought McDonald's because she is the best ever yeah buddy there's a really big mess going on here like I know I gotta leave before it's time for cleanup actually I gotta go y'all y'all I gotta go <laughs> Car is officially on stock suspension all around. Looks like a monster truck. Side skirts are off. Spoilers off. It's almost just a completely stock Jetta, and then all of the the rareness is over here. Lips, spoiler side skirts, the zobbers, all pieces. The bags are sitting out here. Ugh. I still gotta pack clothes. I don't even know what time they're coming tomorrow. You know, I'm thinking that I have to end this vlog tonight, but this is the vlog I started today. This is tomorrow's vlog. I'm just that far ahead. I finished today's vlog and just started this vlog. So we're just gonna call it a night for now. I'll see you guys in the morning. If I have time, I'll try to head to the junkyard real quick and grab the proper um, mount for the front because I don't. I have the airlift ones there right now and it's just not right and I want it to ride proper. So grab the proper front struts. I need a set of stock wheels and then we're just about there. God, it's been a long vlog so far. It's only, it's like one in the morning right now. No. I thought it's like I thought two in the morning. It's two in the morning, really? Yeah, it's one fifty. Wow, and I have to pack still. Well, Timo comes tomorrow and they pack for me, so I just kinda point and stuff, but still, there's a lot to do, man. We move Friday. Actually we no uh, it's nah. Tuesday already. <laughs> so much to do. <sighs> okay, we'll see you guys in the morning. I'm gonna go try and sleep. I actually gotta edit. Uh what a mess. On the super, super, super bright side though. We woke up this morning, Casey checked her email. The moving company not coming until tomorrow, the 21st. So now I have a whole other day to get this thing. Well, the reason why I'm trying to get this car finished before they come, because when they come here, they're taking all my tools away. Which means, I, well, I always have Greg or someone to bring tools over, but all of my tools will be leaving as soon as the company gets here. But thankfully now, they're not coming until tomorrow. So today I can go to the junkyard, get hopefully all the pieces I need, or find someone who has them, and get all this done, situated, and then we're good to go. And the movers also, the TMO, when they come, they pack you, they bring boxes, I got the stuff, but thankfully, we had a whole other day. So, we're doing okay. Good morning, beautiful. Love you. Let me see your cool shirt. Ooh, rocking the Mark Reeves meat shirt. Ooh, we haven't had a G-Tag cold start in a long time. She's heading down to Fort Myers to see her family one last time, and she'll be back up to my house Tuesday night. We leave Wednesday morning for Atlanta, drop off the car. So, 
We got a lot of stuff to do. Nothing like coming home to a car with no fuel in it. Sick. Hopefully you can hear that. That's the sound of love bugs smacking into my car. I'll tell you what. I am not gonna miss love bugs in the slightest bit. I cannot stand these stupid little things. And I'm also gonna miss this heat. Actually, I might miss the heat. Well, I'm gonna miss the warm weather, I'm sure, when I'm like freezing in Germany. But even then, I've always said, I'd rather warm up than cool off. So, so long, Florida heat. All right, so it's been about three or four hours. I'll let it update you guys. Today's just been like absolutely hectic. The junkyard was super, super hot. When I got there, the Mark III that I was counting on being there was gone so i had like scavenged the entire place i found a cabrio thankfully so i got the proper mounts for the front struts for my car so those are checked out and then i need a full set of steelies or stock wheels for my car um no mark three had a full set so i kind of like look around i found one set off of suzuki that had like brand new tires four 100 perfect setup come to find out the setup bar is too small um so i found a set off a nissan 200 sx uh, same set of bars Volkswagen actually surprisingly um, but two of those tires in there were bad so I dropped that entire set of things off at Action Tire just a little while ago getting new tires pick them up tomorrow morning and then also tomorrow morning I have to drive the Mark III to Safe Flight to get my windshield fixed because I can't have any cracks in mine so those will be knocked out I don't know there's, there's, there's so much stuff to do and still to do it's hectic man and it's hot and it's so so much stuff to do. Like I said, if I make it to Germany, it'll be a miracle. It'll be an actual miracle if I don't. Oh my God. Hi, welcome back. Slight problem. We're, we're back, we're good. So like I said, um, just like, there's so much stuff to do. I have to go to AT&T as well still, bring a copy of the orders, get my phone number here in the States put on hold. Um, there's, there's still a million things to do. If we make it to Germany, if I make it to Germany, I'm dying, it'll be an actual miracle. Insanity. Insanity. It's gonna take me a little while getting used to seeing this car all stock height and stock wheels and no parts looking hurt as ever. We'll bring it back, Riley, don't worry. Correct mounts are now in. The front of this car is still so like ridiculously high. Is it actually how high stock work boots are? Like, good grief. I don't know, I just, I just hope this car passes, man. Stock suspension is on, I'll have stock wheels tomorrow. We'll have a new windshield tomorrow as well. We're gonna try the um, steel wool trick in the exhaust. Um, a lot of people recommended that, so we're gonna give it a shot. That should quiet down the exhaust, and then after that, well, after my steering wheel is changed out, we should be good to go. Miley will be, to what they're saying, they said, I should be up to that level. So hopefully, oh man, just please, just please make it. I wanna see this car go to Germany, but man, I'm a little nervous. The front of the car just seems like, look at the back, look at the front. Suspension came off the exact same car, everything all stock, but like the back's like look where it normally would be, I would, I would assume, but the front, look at the front. Why is it so high? I don't understand. But I mean, if you look down the side of the car, the car is sitting completely level. Like, it's a lot of gap here, but the whole entire car is sitting perfectly flat, so I mean, I guess, I guess it's right. I still gotta put the stock spoiler back on and pack the cox one up in there, pack these up, pack the front lip up. We are making progress, so little by little, we are making progress. The super nice thing is though, when the movers come tomorrow, and they're coming like later in the day, so I'm assuming like after three, somewhere around there, so I still have a lot of time. But the nice thing is they're coming with boxes and all this stuff, so I literally have to point at stuff and say, I want that to go, and they'll pack it, which is dope. I do wanna go through a lot of my tools and kinda like put things together before they take it all, but like, Makes my job a lot easier. The OG toolbox is going, of course. Of course, the Zawers would go as well. Um, the small toolbox, that one. Pretty much whatever like tool I can bring. The grills are going, the stock lips are going, the steering wheels are going. Um, back over here, the good old original VR6 is also going. I'm just gonna strap it to this little four-wheeler here and then wrap it like saran wrap and bubble wrap. And that's going, that's to be a plan for maybe a Mark One build. Maybe in my variant, if I buy like a diesel variant at first and then do a big turbo VR6 swap, I don't know, but that's gonna go. Um, the end is gonna go. There's just a lot of pieces, like that's gonna probably get trashed. I don't know, I'm just gonna point, like, I want that, I want this, and I want that, and they can pack it all up. I'm gonna back my out real quick so we can get a full view of the car and to see how just funny it looks up this high. God, dude. Oh, Miley, what happened to you? 
What happened to you? Oh my god. Ah. Uh, ah, uh, she looks so awkward now. About to go on a rally. Taze car off some sweet jumps. I put my um, my stock super slim lip back on the car, but this is pretty much how she's going. Well, and the stock spoiler, but this is this is it. This will be Miley's form for the next few months. We get her back, and then she goes back to being low and stancy. But man, oh man, it's crazy what a few parts will do to a car, huh? Man, the front looks so high. I don't understand. Like the car is sitting level, but like, why is the front so high? Is Mark III stock height always that high? Have I just forgotten? Because, like, that looks retarded. It's huge. I can put a house in there, actually. Ugh. Oh, God. Well, this is pretty much it, except for the spoiler, but there she is. I'm really hoping the suspension of the front of the car settles a little bit because, like, right now, it's, just, it's terrible. Like, ew. I'm sorry, Miley. I apologize for this. I'm sorry. It's only temporary. I'm, I'm sorry, but, like, Ew. Actually, I'm just kidding. You look good, girl. You look good still. You beautiful always. Yeah. You still beautiful. You rally car, you. I put the stock shallow vent lip back on. Look how tiny that thing is. Tiny, tiny. Maybe I'll actually leave the VR6 lip on. Like, I don't want it to get destroyed, but like, mine needs a little something something. That little thing's just not doing any, ugh. I also having no lip at all. I'm gonna end this one off here. I'm exhausted. I still have so much stuff to do today. Um, tomorrow we'll do the stock wheels and tires. The windshield will also do the steering wheel. I'm gonna put the stock amber and red taillights on as well, just because I don't know how well the clear is gonna go over. So we'll put the stock ones back on there. Oh, but there's still so much to do. Four more days, ladies and gentlemen. Four more days. We hop onto a plane and we fly all the way across the entire world. I'm so excited to see all of you guys. I'm going to Ramstein, that's the area I'll be in. I'm not sure exactly like what small town, but right by Ramstein, somewhere around there, we'll be there. <sighs> Man, if I make it this week, it's going to be a miracle. Don't forget, be thankful for everything. We'll see you guys next time, peace.